progressing from our episodes that I've shown as far as hammerheads go and traces. I'm going to show you today how to tie the slide trace for hammerheads, what we require for them, and this would be for the bigger hammers. Heavy duty slide, some nylon coated wire, 150 pounds should be more than ample. Uh, the reason I go for the nylon coated and not the carbon coated is the color. I'm trying to keep everything silver or clear as possible. Toothpick, some of our 10, 10 O's or 11 O ring suis. Uh, very, very nice. They're silver in color. They blend in nicely with the baits. Hence the reason I use them. And of course our Kingfisher Cooter Dusters. One of them is what I'm going to require. Okay, starting off. Let's clear the deck. We're going to take two of our Tenno J hooks, those are the mustard ones. One of our Kingfisher Cooter Dusters, silver in colour, preferably. And one toothpick, that's what I need. Okay. Okay, we're going to take about one and a half meters of wire. One and a half meters of wire. First hook. Again, all we're going to do to tie it is a figure of eight. Very quick, very easy to do. Once, twice. You can snell it if you want, it's up to you. There's my figure of eight. Put your fingers in there, grab a pair of pliers, pull tight, there's the figure of eight and it's reasonably tight, I haven't pulled it tight completely. I'm now going to slide it down so I don't kink the wire, it gets down to the bottom. Now, pull as tight as I can, I'm just going to attach it to my board here. And I'm really going to give it a good yank. Burglar guards, door handles, anything you can find. Just to make sure it goes tight. Just to make sure the knot does not open. I would like to actually take a pair of pliers and just pinch it a bit. Side cutters, cut off the tag end. Should be that part there. Just to make sure everything is reasonably straight. Second hook, again going in through the back of it, slide him down, and depending on the actual size of the chocker that you're going to use. So for example, I'm just going to grab one out of my bait box here. It's always best to make it up when you know what size chocker you've got. So for instance, this would be my chocker that I'd be using. I always want to put one hook in the head which would be there and one hook in the tail which would basically be there so if I measure it out that would be about a hundred percent correct for what I'd want to do okay so what I do is now snail the hook one up one down all I'm gonna do is wrap the actual wire around six times there we go Hold it nice and tight and go one, two, three, four, six times. Put it all the way through. Pull tight. Okay, and once again, I'm just going to lift up my box here. Take this and melt the wire.
There we go. And then just pull tight until the plastic actually starts. Melting. Okay. And there you can see the plastic has melted in nicely. It's a nice length for my actual bait. Good to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this, take our cuda duster, insert the actual wire from the bottom of the cuda duster all the way through until it comes to the end of the actual knot. Take a toothpick and just jam it in. What it does is it actually keeps the toothpick, uh, actually keeps the skirt from coming up your line. It will stay where it is now. It won't go up and down your line. So when you're moving it down, that will basically go over your chocker bait and the toothpick will stay where it is. To attach it, again, all we're going to do is a figure of eight. It's quick, it's easy. One, two, back over and through, a pair of pliers, see that's why your fingers are very important, your fingers actually hold it in place so that it doesn't slip, slide down, pull as hard as you can, take that and just crimp it closed, there we go. And there's the entire length of our actual sliding trace. Okay, very important thing to remember that in your chocker bait you must put a lot of flotation so that this actually floats up. Okay guys.